Hey there planners, today I am super excited to set up the first month of 2022 in my new planner. We're gonna be setting up January, including monthly and all the weekly pages. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, so if you missed everything leading up to this moment of actually setting up January in my new planner, you may be wondering what is this planner? Uh, I'm gonna point you to a couple of videos that I have posted recently about my 2022 planner stack, um, how I'm setting this up, my goal planning session, and also uh, just a little bit of information about why I'm going digital in 2022. So I am gonna be using a digital planner. However, what I'll say is my digital planner is almost exactly like the planners I've used in the past where I'm taking a blank notebook and I'm turning it into what I want. Uh, the difference is I have been able to put in some templates and formats ahead of time in the actual digital planner that I created. Um, so that's gonna save me some time. So with all of that intro, let's get into actually planning January. I am super excited about setting up this month as the first month of the year. I already have my calendar set up uh, just in templates. So I've got, you know, the days of the week um, and blank spaces to put in the numbers, you know, put in the, the time frames. I've got some white space over here. And then I have pages for each week of the month. So week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And they're blank. So just like my old blank notebook, these pages are ready for me to use. So I wanna walk through exactly how I have each of my monthly tabs set up. So after my monthly calendar, I have a goal setting page set up to capture the monthly goals, a weekly task, daily task for each of my goals, and a, a little space here to you know take notes or whatever else I wanna capture, some motivating words, whatever I wanna capture there. I have a planning Annie calendar, uh, which is where I'll capture content planning. I have uh, a, my faith journaling ca calendar so I can capture either what scriptures I'm gonna be studying or use this as a gratitude log. And then I go into the weekly pages. After the weekly pages, you, you will see like on my goal planning calendar, I have three dots here. These are links to goal planning pages. I have three major goals for uh, 2022 and each one of those goals gets its own dedicated page in the month so that if I want to take notes or, you know, track progress or whatever it is I want to use this space for, I have that dedicated. Same thing with Planning Annie. Planning Annie has dedicated pages in case I want to do, you know, video, video ideas list or notes or, you know, making a list of subscriber questions, things like that. I've got plenty of space to do that. Same thing for faith planning. I've got dedicated space for faith planning um, for each month in this planner. And then I move on to the next monthly calendar. So that's how my months are structured. I wanna talk a minute about the weekly pages. So what you won't see is I don't have actual dedicated daily pages. And I did that on purpose because I'm finding that I'm not actually using one daily page for every day. Uh, so it would have been a little bit of a waste of time for me to set up a, a de dedicated daily page for every day of the year. So what I can do is if I find that, you know, if this is week one and I find on Tuesday, I really need a daily page because I've got a lot going on. I can easily come in here and add a page in. So for example, I'll just add a page in after this one and I can call this, you know, daily. Right? And then I can use that for the daily page. And then I go right on to the second week. Maybe I need four or five daily pages. Um, but the point is I have the flexibility to be able to, I'm actually just gonna move that to the trash because I don't think I need it yet. Um, but I have the ability to, to add in daily pages as I need. All right, so let's talk about how I'm actually going to be setting up this month. I wanna use stickers because I love stickers. I always have loved stickers and this is my personal planner where I like to get creative. So what I'm going to do is actually split my screen here 
and bring up my stickers. So I have a whole folder full of stickers um, in, in GoodNotes where I'm keeping all my digital stickers. And you will see I have a ton of digital stickers already because there are so many freebies. I talked about this in my, uh, you know, digital versus analog planning video. And, um, you know, one of the benefits of going digital is that I have a ton of free options. I also have made a bunch of options. So, um, I am going to be using some selection. I haven't quite decided. Uh, these come from, I, I have a bunch of stickers from Ink and Pine here, which I will have all of my supplies that I use listed down in the description box below. Uh, but I think I'm gonna start the year off with Ink and Pine and there are some great sets. So let me just pull up one of these sets so you can see how beautiful these stickers are. I mean, they're just like works of art. They're absolutely gorgeous. Another thing I love is that they're actually the hex code. She provides the hex codes with her stickers so that if I want to match the color of the ink I'm using and the highlighting that I'm using, I have those to match. Um, I've got date dots here. I've got, you know, date headers here. Um, it's just really, really beautiful stickers. So I think I'm actually going to use this set to begin the month. Um, let me start by pulling over the date dots and I actually want to go with uh, these circles here and I'm, and I'm just going to grab these and copy them and then bring them right over here and put them in. All right, so now that I've got them over here, I wanna make sure they're the right size. So what I'm gonna do is size them as a group before um, I, you know, I start moving them into place. So what I'm gonna do is actually put, put like the number one, and I'll zoom in so you can see, I'm using the number one as a reference and I'm putting it right in that corner to see is that the right size and I actually think that is the right size that I want to use. All right, so the month of January starts on a Wednesday, so I'm going to pull these up here and then just kind of put a few of them in place so that I can easily move them around. And now I'm just going to move them one at a time into place and I'm going to put them right in that corner. All right, let me go ahead and place all of these and I'll come back when it's done. All right, so I've got my date dots in place and the other thing I went ahead and did is I added in the colors from the hex codes in this sticker kit so that I have those ready to go so I can use the colors that will actually match my stickers in the month of January. Very exciting um, to be able to do that. I can add it to the highlights as well um, so that whether I'm using a pen or a highlighter, I can have these, these colors available to use. I, I love that feature. Um, it's, it reminds me a lot of, um, you know, using the, uh, you know, the Tombos to try to match the colors, only this is an exact match, which is really cool. Okay, next up, I think I want to maybe do something with the month, uh, the monthly title. Right now, I just have the monthly title, um, January in white there, but there are some headers here uh, that I think I want to try to use this January because it's so pretty and it goes with um, this color so well. Let me bring this over and see. The question is going to be, will it fully cover? And I think it will. Now, one of the tricks I've learned, um, if I have, so this sticker is great. Um, it's going to look really pretty there. But the problem is it's not going to cover up. It's, it's not as, as long as this. And I could stretch it out and maybe that will work. I was going to try to cover up the, the background, but actually I think that works. Let me make it just a little bit smaller. Actually, I think that looks really good there. Um, let me zoom in so you can see. I think that looks really pretty there and um, it covers up the, the words that I had in the background in the template perfectly. I think I'm going to leave the uh, days of the week headers. I think they look good. Um, let me see what other stickers I might want to bring over to decorate. These stickers are so beautiful and artistic. Um, I've got this space over here on the side. Let me see how this sticker looks over here. Bring this one over. And I think that will be a really good fit 
here in this side pocket. Let's see what it looks like if I stretch it a little bit. Yeah, perfect. So now I've got this great place that I can write notes on and um, it matches with the theme. I think that's going to be perfect. Let me see what other stickers I have that I might want to bring over because I've got these days that I could cover up with a sticker um, that aren't actually days for the calendar. And there's these really great sort of square sticker spaces. Um, I love these roses. That actually might be uh, bring some color in. All right, I grabbed three stickers that I'm going to play around with. So first of all, I have this beautiful snowy scene that is just gorgeous. I'm going to try to place this in in these both of these spots as kind of a background and trying to get the sticker just the right size to cover it up. I think that's going to work and then I'm actually going to copy and paste because I have the same size block here and then I wanted to see about using this one and I might end up needing to crop it a little bit to fit. I'm going to cut those flowers out a little bit and put that right there and then this beautiful little house. I'm going to crop that a little bit so that it will fit and I'm going to put it down here. So cute. Oh. And that happens sometimes. I forget which sticker is in the front. So I actually need to make this sticker. I'm going to cut it and repaste it so that it is on the top. Layering is, is a, there's a learning curve with layering in, in, one, in good notes. Um, the sticker that you put down last is going to be on top. So now I have this really cute little walking in a winter wonderland, kind of setting the theme for the month, and then this really cute little house with the watercolor background. These stickers from Ink and Pine are absolutely beautiful. So I think that is good for um, for the calendar page and then um, this kind of sets the theme. I do have this one little space here. Let's see if there's anything that I would want to put there. Okay, I see two things I think I want to do. I'm going to grab this what looks like a paintbrush stroke and pull that over and then there's this little quote that says beautiful life and I'm going to bring that over and then let's see what we can do with these in this space. And I think I brought them over in the right order to be able to layer them right there. Uh, perfect. All right, so now I've got that little quote there and that looks so cute over the, the navy blue paint swatch and there's my Jan January calendar. So now what I want to do is go ahead and capture some of the items that I have going on in January. I'm going to pull from my future log, which I started filling out. So let me go ahead and write in the items that I have going on in January, and I will come back and show you what the calendar looks like all set up. Okay, as I was getting ready to write in things, I realized, and you may have realized this earlier in the video, oh my gosh, she has totally dated that calendar wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what month I was thinking of. Um, but I wanted to show you, this is great because I wanted to show you how easy that is. So let's imagine I had done that in my Stology planner, right? If I had misdated the whole calendar, what would I do? White out, glue the page together, start all over, rip the page out, right? Let me show you how easy this is to fix in this planner. So I have circled the dates and I'm going to move them down. This is what I love about digital planning because I can't tell you how many times that happens. I would love to hear from you in the comments. How many times do you set your planner up and it's like, 
your calendar up and it's totally wrong. You have no idea how you even got to that in your, in your calendar, right? So, I, I mean, it's just, I, I am thrilled with how easy it is to fix mistakes like that. Um, in in digital planning. I mean, it literally takes me two seconds. I don't have to uh, rewrite anything. I don't have to redraw in anything. I don't have to totally get rid of pages altogether. I'm just moving the dates around, right? All right, so I, I will continue to fix this and keep writing in the um, activities that I have going on in January in the right monthly calendar. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the power of digital planning and why I'm very thankful right now after I have misdated an entire calendar that it is this easy to fix. All right, so there is my January calendar set up. I've got things plugged in like all my daughter's basketball games, you know, paydays, days off, holidays, things like that, all set up and ready to go. Plenty of things will be added, I know, and I've got lots of space left to add them. So now it is time to start setting up my weeks. And this is where I can use all kinds of templates. I've got just blank space to set them up. I think for today, I'm going to go ahead and set up the first week and then hold off on setting up the the future weeks because uh, I don't know what kind of structure I'm going to need for those, but I do want to show you what it looks like to set up one of my weeks. So I'm actually going to go back to my stickers and I have in my sticker set, I have some templates that I have either created um, or, you know, found as freebies for, uh, for the weeks and I'll give you a look at what they look like. So I've got like, you know, different templates set up to actually set up the weeks. I think for this first week of January, I am going to grab, uh, let's see, I may even want to use just some of the boxes. There's these really pretty rose boxes. I think I might grab some of those and set up the weeks with those. Like I love this grid box. Let's see, let me grab this one. And that's the really neat thing is I can use the stickers. Um, you know, you see the size, it's kind of small, but I can make it as big as I want to and actually use these for the days of the week. So let's see if I've got that size captured correctly to be able to fit. The days in here. And I'm just going to ignore the center of the page right there. I think that might be a little big. Let me make them a little smaller. All right, so that actually gives me some extra space. Let me resize and make these just a little bigger. And there we go. There are my days of the week. And now I can put my weekly headers in and I've got a spot to capture big items. I do think I would like to make them just a little bit longer. So let's see if I pull them down and stretch them out just a bit. All right, I'm gonna play around with these and get the date headers in and I'll come back when I have it kind of set up, but you see how I'm able to do that. All right, so here is the final setup for the first week. I've got a um, bunch of stickers. I put in the, the weekly header. I've got the days of the week with the with the date stickers in each day. I've got a place to capture to-dos, really pretty roses, and a section to capture what I need to film, uh, and just general planning any type task. So that is my first weekly setup, which I'm super excited about. I love the flexibility. I love being able to take things that are like, you know, small sticky notes and turn them into um, to do sections or, you know, text box stickers and turn them into weekly stickers. There's just so much flexibility. Uh, and this set from Ink and Pine is absolutely beautiful. I'm actually going to be using them throughout the month of January. I've got a couple different sets, so I'll have all of them linked down below. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I'm setting up my 
uh, month of January for the calendar and the first weekly setup. If you want to see more of my weekly setups as I go through the month and how I'm actually using them, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be happy to capture those and share those too. I would love to hear how your January is getting set up. Stay tuned for my faith planning setup and my goal planning setup because I do have those pages here and I will be setting those up as well and want to share that with you just as I always have new forms format, uh, same content and ideas. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.